Alrighty, welcome back to Realistic Difficulty for Mountain Blade Bannerlord. I am Japor, and last we left off, we are one point away from getting to Clan Tier 2. Um, and yeah, we're part of the Northern Empire. We've, we did a, we had a battle last game against a lord, a quite a big lord, Garios, uh, who I believe is leader of the Southern Empire. Um, don't quote me though. But, yeah, so we, we're doing pretty well. Um, we, yeah, we just need Renown to really level up. Because we want we need Clan Tier Level 4 to be able to continue the main quest, which is what I want to do. Uh, and at the moment, we need one more point to becoming a Vassal. Uh, and Vassals are just... Uh, they're a lot better... Wait, well, Vassal is our long-term goal. Or, like, our mid-term goal, I should say. So we want... We're going to be a Mercenary for a bit. But there are currently no... Uh, there are no walls being fought in any of these kingdoms, which is quite rare, so uh, we might actually go after that bandit camp then. Um, oh, there we go. Sturgeons have declared war against the Britannians. That's great. So we're actually going to go... We're going to go help one of them out. I'm going to flip a coin, and we're going to decide who. Alright. And we'll do that after the hideout. I'll tell you the result. So, uh, and yeah, so we want... so. Short term goal, we want to be a mercenary for a fair bit, uh, just get more influence, which gets us more coins, uh, and then through more money we can have more workshops and more and a larger party. Uh, and then, once we have a fair bit of money and we, um, and we have as many workshops as possible, um, we'll probably swear fealty to the Northern Empire, uh, so we'll get start getting lands, because uh, they seem to be in a good spot to uh, get more lands. They seem to be you know, winning a lot of things. So we'll be doing that. Uh, who do we want to come in with us? Uh, we won't take any of our companions. Except for some reason we need to take our brother. But that's fine. Um, I think one of the stories might have glitched. But that's okay. We'll see what this does. Uh, and yeah. So just before I do this though. I might save. Because um, last time we attacked a hideout. It uh, crashed the game. So we'll just take it very cautiously. Uh, and yeah. Let's go. Sweet. Oh, that's, that's me. Right, that's Nigel. Whoops. Only problem about me and uh, Nathaniel having a similar name is that uh, we sometimes get confused. Who is who? That is the question. Um, and yeah, so midterm will be vassal, we'll get some land, and then it's easy to have land and declare uh, our independence, because then we can use the same land against whoever we were currently with. And wow, that's a lot of archers. Okay. This should be fairly simple then. Oof. Wow, why is that drop so bad? Oh well. Yeah, crossbows. Best weapons in the game. So useful. Okay, let's see if I can get this guy from here. Sniper! Oh my god, that drop is bad. I don't know why that ha that's happening. Um, Right, maybe it's just me, me. Maybe it's me just being me. That's fine. Okay. Nice. We shouldn't lose anyone here. They're all, they're all pretty um, heavy armored. Uh, our crossbowmen are fair, a fair way behind. Uh, and yeah, bandits don't really have much of a chance. If their bandit leader like spawned with his general troops, we would be in trouble. Uh, or not in trouble, but it would be a bit more difficult. Um, but as it stands, like. There is no such difficulty, so I hope that's something that gets expanded upon in future um, updates. I hope, um, as like in the roguery, we can start using bandit camps for more things. Uh, I think at the moment you can go up to them and recruit troops, but that might be a mod I'm thinking of. Um, Fobri, which is a great mod. God, that drop is bad. Oh, we lost a troop. <laughs> wow, okay. Especially a legionnaire, that's. Oh, he got very unlucky. Spear right to the face. Okay. Well, I eat my words. I knew I'd jinx it. I knew it. I got him. Cool. Uh, do I feel like versing the bandit leader? Uh, yeah, I will. Just because otherwise I'd, one of our crossbowmen, crossbowmen might die. So, actually, no. Mm. 
Nice. That's beautiful. Great. Yeah, a bit disappointing that we lost someone though. But oh, you also gained, you know, the amount of renown we needed. So we now clan level two. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, funded 210 gold, that's nice. We got a Hillman as a prisoner. Um, that's nothing really worth noting. But, we've got him. Uh, hopefully not desperate enough to recruit him. And yeah, that's great. Good little start. Alright. So, uh, because as a mercenary we can just leave at any time. So we might just do that. Uh, actually there's nothing worth, uh, going back to the castle for. So... Let's do it. Let's go up here. We want to be kind of neutral to both at the moment. Uh, let's see. Let's... Oh, what do we want to do? Ah, I did flip a coin, but I don't know. I do like the barracks, but I feel like if we go with the Batanians, they're more likely to go at war with someone else. So, might be better longevity-wise to go with Batanians. Especially if they're losing faction, because... Um, that doesn't really matter. As a mercenary, we don't have any vested interest uh, in who wins and who loses. So, uh, we might get a debuff, I want to say, to leaving the kingdom, but I don't think so. It, says, it always says relationship loss, but I don't think it ever actually happens. Yeah, they may dislike you, um, but they, they don't, which is weird. Uh, so, anyway. We're going to go up to you, um, Fiad. Um, you are not a face I know. What is your name? I am Nigel. I am Fiad of the Fen Painrick. The fame of our family is second to none in the Songs of Britannians. Oh, all right. I'll deal with those. I'll deal with those who keep their oaths. If you're one of those who don't value their word, don't waste my time. Cool. So you're probably honourable, right? Uh, you're honest. Yeah, that makes sense. Cool. Uh. If there is something I wish to discuss, I would like to give my service. Uh, have you service? My sword is yours for the right sum. Yeah, so we don't want to be a vassal, we want to just be a, um, a sword, a mercenary. And it's actually kind of weird, I wish there was some sort of... I wish we had, had to have more relationship before we could pledge our sword, because at the moment it's just like one... Like a guy, a random guy with a party coming up to you and being like, Oh, hey, can I be like a lord for, you know, you guys? And they're like, yeah, sure, man. And then they'll give you like the first castle they take, it's like... You know, that's a bit weird, right? I feel like there should be some way... There should be, like, maybe a small quest or, like, you have to have a strong relationship with the leader. I think that's what you had to do in Mountain Blade Warband, from memory. Um, been a while since I played that game. But, yeah, I feel like there should be a bit more to it. Um, but, anyway. My sword is yours for that some. Cool. So, they'll be paying me a lot less. Um, but that's fine. You don't get money from these guys, like, daily. It's more... Um... Yeah, it's more from uh, actually actual battles that you get your money from. Cool. So we might be able to take them. Not with this amount of troops, though. Might go over here. Oh, that was, that was risky. Might go over here and see if we can get any troops. Some, yes, some beautiful archers. Best archers in the game. Highborn youth. Well, they go into Batanian High Lord. Highborn, sorry. Um, best best troops in the game absolute tanks not only do they have like great aim and a strong bow they also have um a two-handed weapon which here we go here we go let's go in um they also have a bow no sorry they also have a two-handed weapon which is like great defense and all the batanians are weird looking actually everyone is weird looking um yeah it's the eyes isn't it okay well, let's just not think about it uh yeah I guess we can't shoot them now, because we can't see the whites of their eyes, but, yeah, as, as I said last episode, um, with, it's a small graphical glitch, I'm not gonna try and fix it, because I'll probably break something, um, so yeah, it's just a small thing, we're just gonna have to work our way through, uh, it has resolved for me, for me in the past, so hopefully it will resolve again, um, yeah, nice, they just all like, nice, uh, how many, Troop up, but we don't have many troops yet. I've got like one horseman who is the leader, who I think is my companion. I oh, know it's actually, yeah, it's Nathaniel's. Um, cool. And how we don't have many troops at all, so I don't know. Okay, all right, where are they spawning? Can we see them? No, okay. I'm gonna put archers up here. 
we're going to put uh, troops there, Nathaniel's there, and uh, Horse Archer's there. Okay, I'm ready. And we're green now, because we changed factions. Not a huge fan of green, but it doesn't look too bad. Okay, so we're only a small army, so we're not going to be able to do much. Uh, I'm going to set my troops to skirmish for now, and I'm just going to do a skirmishing myself. For some reason, Vlandian lords like to do their own skirmishing. They're pretty good at it, but... Let's see if we can try and get him. Nice. Okay, we got one lord, which is nice. Hopefully a morale debuff for the, uh, for the enemy. Actually, we're going to change our troops to holding fire because there's no way they're going to be accurate from all the way over there. Oh, a bit of lag. And yeah, let's just try and uh, pepper them down with some crossbow bolts. Oh, that was a good one. This is going to be a long battle. 300 troops. Um, they won't go quietly. And, um, oh, that's another thing, One point I keep bringing 1.8 up because it just looks like such a great patch. Um, it has more unique, um, spawn sites, so they won't keep spawning from the same area and keep getting demolished. Um, it would be more dynamic, which is nice. And yeah. And see, now my troops might be in trouble because they might be able to walk around mine. Oh, walk around the main army. So yeah, I tend to leave mine in reserve for a fair bit because otherwise they just get... There's not many of them. Not many of my troops. So, uh... You've got to be cautious with using them, otherwise you'll lose a lot of them. Because yeah, the AI won't stick around and help you. They'll do their own thing. Which isn't great. that completely. Right, let's try and get this guy. This is the first time I've played this game since they um, they buffed the, um, the Sturgeon Cavalry though, so it's nice to see them actually do their... do a fair bit of, you know... well, that guy died, but they look better, in other words. Because before they were very weak. <clears throat> I don't want to get hurt too badly. Okay, we might send our troops in now. Cool. And yeah, so we have a lot more of our troops now because um, the ratio is better. Oh, we missed completely. I probably left my troops coming in too late because now I won't get a good... Oh, nice, Nathaniel. Now I won't get a good um, loot share, but you never know. It's better not to lose all your troops in the first battle of the campaign. Yeah, we, we did alright. We got six kills. Yeah, we only got 2% of the loot. But let's see how, how small 2% is. It might be actually quite a bit. Uh, and I hope we might have captured a lord as well. Probably not. Again, you saved our next Nigel. Truly, you are the best of friends. Again. I don't remember. Ah, because we let go of a few people. All right. That that army we just first must have captured a few Batanian lords, so we just rescued them. Uh, we'll get some infantry, and I think we need more cavalry now, not just horse archers. So we'll just get more just general cavalry, um, and we can recruit the uh, the hillman. Uh, yeah, let's just do it for for lolzies. Uh, and yeah, we didn't get much loot at all. Which was expected. 2%, not going to do much. Not going to break, you know. It's not going to save your income. But let's now go up and, um... Well, sell whatever we had. And then we can see if there's any more troops to be had. So at the moment, I think 49, is that what we have? What does it say? Party size. Yeah, about 49. So, yeah, we do want more troops. But there isn't many to be had. We'll sell the prisoners. Um, we'll just sell the trash we have because 
Uh, it's from the, um, <clears throat> we'll keep the horse there. Oh, that's a great horse. We'll put that on. Um, yeah, because this is also from the Bennett hideout. Great. And yeah, we'll see if Andrum has any troops. We won't do the thing. The, oh, nice. We won't do the, um, arena. It's just, it's a bit repetitive and it's not great gameplay, to be honest. Uh, oh, yes. Oh, look at that. I'm on realistic recruit, so this is quite interesting how it's not actually that hard to recruit, especially pretty high tier units. Yeah, look at that. Nice. They must have... This must have be a high prosperous area. Let's see. Is it? Uh, yeah, not bad. Hearth. Yeah, that's pretty good. So, no wonder why, like, we're getting a lot of good troops. They mustn't have... This area mustn't have been raided all that much lately. And we'll actually... We'll actually get some Sturgeon troops. A bit of a debuff. Um, they have less morale, I think, when you go into battle against their own, but, you know, they're still going to do their job. As long as, like, the majority of your army isn't the same, it'll be fine. Cool. Great, and let's go defend that castle again, because they seem really keen on taking it. Great. Uh... I swear the terrain's changed a bit too, but maybe not. Probably not. Okay, let's get down. Got Kaladog, got the leader of our clan, of our sorry of our um, nation, and they're running. Are they running? What are they doing? Doesn't see. I don't think they're running. I think they're defending something. Perhaps are we attacking them? No. We. Oh yeah. Nice. Yeah, we couldn't take that army. I don't know why they ran. Try to Ismosk. Ismilkog. Ismilkog. What are they? Are they going to... Well, if they're going to besiege, I'm going to hide in the castle. Because worst case... Actually, they're not going to make it. They're going to be attacked sooner than that. We want our main army to, f to hit them first. Where are they going? Looks like they're going to go after Flintog. Oh, let's save this. Because we're probably going to die here. What do they have? They have 12 cavalry, 60 infantry, and 4 range. We have 40 infantry, 4 cavalry, 20 arch 22 archers, and 5 horse archers. So, we're going to have to rely a lot more on our archers. Um... I think we could probably take them though. Let's see, do we have... Let's go character. And with tactics, are we... No, we have no tactics. That's what I should have put a point into. That's a shame. Uh, what about leadership? What did I put points into? It'd be great if I could... Oh, I haven't actually put anything into that. Great. Okay. I was wondering because there's a... Um, there's a skill that... I think it's this one? Yeah, so you either get more... Um, morale, which is actually a fairly big deal. Like, morale is great. Uh, otherwise your troops, you know, they flee sooner. So, um, yeah, Fervor and Attacker will give plus four when you're attacking. And then Defender will give you plus eight when defending. Um, and to be honest, I think defending is always the better option because how often are you going to need that morale when you're attacking, right? You're, not, you're only ever going to attack when you think you're going to win. Whereas defense, like, there's going to be times when you're going to need that extra morale just to keep your troops on the field against, like, a, a bigger army. So... Um, uh, yeah, this should be, I might give myself a defense bonus, if that is such a thing, and we'll do it on a bridge, because hopefully it'll give me the bridge map, um, and yeah, let's go. Uruk, I don't know you, uh, if you have anything to say, say it quickly, the ravens are hungry and I will not keep them waiting. Ooh. I'm Nigel, who are you? I'm Uruk of the Kulving, one of the ancient lineages of the Sturgeons, that's great. The one thing you, about me you should know is that I make a very good friend and that and you absolutely do not want me as an enemy. Great. Uh, you are outmatched today. Give up. If you, if not for your own sake, then think of your men. Um, look, mate. Uh, we're, I'm the same. Uh, I'm a good... I am a good friend to have and a very poor enemy. Uh, Nigel is going to spill every last drop of your blood. Cool. Uh, it's not giving us great power levels. Uh, but our troops are actually quite high tier, so I don't know why that is. 
and we'll see the uh, archers in action because I love them. Sturgeons aren't probably the best uh, example to do it against because they a lot of their units have shields, uh, but we have a huge range advantage, and we did not get the the bridge map. That's a shame. All right, so what do we want to do? Okay, let's put our troops up here like that. And we'll put our infantry just in front of them. We want them kind of like that. And we'll put horse behind. And horse bowmen behind as well. Cool, great. Uh, actually, if I can. No, I can't. Alright, no, that's fine. I'm gonna try and get a few of their horsemen. Oh god. Okay. My survival is kind of needed for this plan to work, so <laughs> that was a terrible idea. Okay, we, we may actually lose this. And uh, and archers to hopefully distract some of them. We got this, come on, come on. Come on, we got this, we got this. We got this, come on. Oh my god, I had to, I had to go quiet there. Oh man, I don't think we have this, I don't think we have this. Oh no, oh. Well. <sighs> That's not good. I think we're fleeing now, aren't we? Or maybe not. Okay, it looks like it's just that we have an Equite, we have a Raider. Oh, they have Uric though still. That's not good. Yeah, just that early damage, that really like knocked me out. I really should have, um, I really should have saved myself a bit better there. Oh, the Equite is dead. Not good. This Faris guy is doing pretty well there. And we still got our brother. Though he looks like he's about to get KO'd. Oh no, look at him. He did, did alright. Are they running? I don't think... We probably should have had the archers in a better position or move them back. Um, but yeah, this is just a small bump on the road to Nigel's eventual... Oh, door. Oh, door. That's not good. It's all up to you, mate. Okay, I'm gonna quickly retreat. And battle. Yep. Retreat. Retreat! Oh, man. Our first loss. That's... Yeah, I really thought we had that, but... I guess you could tell um, we didn't. <laughs> 13 though, we did alright. We did a fair job. Um, yeah, I'm going to send troops. We're going to lose. But it is what it is.
Uh, so we got captured. So that's not great. Which means we're going to have to escape and then um, have... We're going to have to, you know, save our party, basically. We're going to have to go and recruit our brother and everyone else. Um, you know, which isn't fun. Oh, it looks like our companion escaped, one of them. But yeah, we're going to have to refind all our companions. So not ideal. Uh, especially if they put us into a castle, we're going to have even a harder chance of escaping. Uh, yeah, okay. We're going to have a very difficult chance of escaping now. <sighs> oh, well. It's just part of the game, you know? And this is... This is going to be part of Nigel's thinking, right? He's He's been captured by the um, Sturgeons. He's not a huge fan of being captured. Uh, so he might seek revenge when he has his... Uh, has a higher party. Um, so, you know, 790 actually isn't bad. So we're going to do that. Um, we might die again before we escape. But um, hopefully not. Uh, and then, yeah, let's go and recruit... Oh, we are going to die. Oh, my God. Stop there. Who are you? Um, stay your hand. Our realm should make peace. We're only mercenary second on stage. It's okay. Uh, 1 verse 29. I don't think I can do it. Uh, I'm going to try, though. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to try. We're 21% health. I'm going to try. Ugh. So if I do it, like, amazing. I'm not just going to surrender. Nigel isn't a surrenderer. Um, although he probably should have, because I just realized I could die. This could be this could be game over. Um, yeah, so this might not be the best. Oh, they've got Equites. That's weird. There must be mercenaries as well. Uh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. That guy was... Okay. At least he didn't die, you know. Yeah, well, sometimes uh, you get into this death spiral of being captured constantly. But luckily, he's running this other way. Uh, so, oh no, he's not. No, he's going the other way. But hey, I'm still making money. So, especially because I don't have a party now, top keep. Oh, Mangus, you could save me. Even he could save me. Little skins. Come on, let me escape, let me escape. Come on. Come on. Come on. He's actually losing party members. He must have been run out, run out of food. Okay, I can escape. Cool. Whilst they're busy, we'll try and get into Pendle's army. Oh, no. Uh, I'm going to quickly um, just leave the kingdom. Because I don't want to die again. Cool. And I'm at peace now. Oh dear, that's a shame though, because I lost a lot of good troops. Uh, and now I have to re-recruit my companions. So that's, that's a real shame. Uh, yeah, that's going to be what next episode is going to be about, I suppose. Rebuilding. Going back to a uh, what we were before. And that's probably why we're so slow at the moment, is because uh, we... Do we sell a lot of inventory? No, we lost a whole lot of our stuff. That is a huge shame. Because uh, we had a lot of wood there. But yeah, look, our speed is back up. Uh, yeah. So, but I, I kind of want Imperial troops, because we're going to be an Imperial army. So I'm going to go... Oh, I need food. That's it. I need food. <clears throat> so that's not good. We're already losing troops. We just got... Okay. Trade. Um, well, I'm just going to sell both pottery. And then we're going to get... Uh, grain isn't actually that expensive. It says it's expensive, but it's not. Uh, we're going to get some butter too. Sell that. Uh, iron, that's... Tools is pretty cheap, actually. So we're going to buy a lot of that iron. And, oh, they took all our... All our mules. Oh, that's annoying. That was a fortune's worth of mules. Um... In that case, then, I'm not going to take the tools. Oh, yeah, I will. You know what? It's 2,000. We're not really paying much of an upkeep because there's no one really to pay. Um, get some more Imperials. Uh, we just have to watch out for bandits again, which is kind of a weird thing to say this late in the game. Uh, yeah, we're just going to be really slow. 
until we get some more troops to help us carry our stuff. Can we buy anything from here? No, okay. So I think we will go to Diethma. Uh And then, yeah. Once we're there, and we'll go on to every village while we're there. Oh, we just negated the their uh, aggro, which is nice. Because imagine going through all that and then being captured by bandits would be the real salt into the wound. Uh, looks like the Sun Empire... Were they at war again? That was quick. But yeah, I'd, rather, I'd much rather be an Imperial faction, um, like mercenary-wise and then vassal-wise. Oh, bandits. Oh, I didn't see you guys. Okay. Forest Bandit's probably the second hardest to deal with. So there's the Viking... Oh, what are they called? Um, there's the Raiders, which are a bit more tough. Um, I'm not used to not having good troops. I'm just going to charge because... Um, we're going to charge. Because they're, they're all archers, which is why they're difficult early game. And they're actually not bad archers. I'm actually supposed to have lost anyone yet. So we should win this. If only just. Especially considering we're on a horse. We should have the upper hand. Yeah, man. I can do bandits any day of the week. Okay. Some weeks are better than others. Clearly. Okay, wow. I'm going too fast. There we go. There we go. Alright. I got too confident. <clears throat> this is bad though. It's going to slow us down again. Because now all our troops are wounded. So, But at least we uh, upgraded our Batanian uh, Lord. Batanian Lord. Uh, high born youth archer. Because yeah, when they get to the top tier of their troop tree, that's when they get OP. Uh, but yeah, this is kind of a depressing episode to leave on, but uh, or note to leave on. But yeah, so we've kind of regressed. Uh, next episode, we're going to be rebuilding, um, getting getting back up to uh, our full power, and yeah, awesome. So I'm Jabal, and I'll see you later.